Welcome from Get Extra Sir today's video. Obvious rise is sweet out. Global liquidity crisis. Ripple and Seller have been working for a long time to help make the transition and give the markets the liquidity they need to emerge from the crisis. Again, remember the analogy of the phoenix rising from the ashes. The new financial system is upon us. Excellent. XRP and XLM are the guardians. XRP, ODL, and XLM, AMM. As you guys can see, settlement through digital assets, XRP, future release. Bank A, XRP to the XRP ledger, and then it gets transacted to Bank B. Or the two worlds collide, as you can see. And then Stellar, liquidity, liquidity, liquidity. Again, guys. So, liquidity needed. Liquidity crisis, perhaps? We'll wait and see. Now, it gets even it gets very funny here and very interesting so today is september 21st right tomorrow's september 22nd fall starts tomorrow autumn and what is tomorrow the timeline scales and justice look what's happening right here watch how we connect the dots guys the wall street journal suit out securities and exchange commission chair chair gary gensler said tuesday he doesn't see much long-term viability for cryptocurrencies and that the history of wildcat banking in the U.S. shows limited viability for private forms of money. Look at this right here. Gensler doesn't see cryptocurrencies lasting long. Isn't that crazy? What have we been literally talking about in this channel, guys? We cannot make this up. Like, come on. Underscoring the importance of protecting investors in the market and bringing it under regulatory oversight regulations up on the horizon. But protecting investors... Mm, what are they protecting? That doesn't make sense. Now, it gets even... Guys, look at this. From you today, Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse says or states 99% of all crypto goes to zero. Do you guys see the connection being made right here? I have said publicly before that I think 99% of all crypto probably goes to zero. But there is that 1% that I think is focused on solving a real problem problem for real customers and is able to do that at scale garlinghouse told bloomberg now guys connect the dots sec states this does gensler doesn't see cryptocurrencies lasting long brad garlinghouse states this 99 percent will go to zero see here on coin market cap there's literally twelve thousand plus coins come on guys there will be only a one 1% of all of these coins surviving and you guys can see we see XRP Stellar a few other coins guys Which do you guys believe will survive you guys can go ahead and comment down below, but again It's the reason why ripple has been focused on a specific customer a specific problem And we have been fortunate to build a lot of momentum with that customer set again guys XRP is truly the one now, Benjamin Cohen is sweet out. Funny that Gensler says that he wants to protect investors, but no one in crypto is asking for that protection. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Again, protection, protecting crypto or crypto investors, right? But how does that make sense when they sued uh, Ripple? People lost a lot of money, a lot, 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 lot of money, guys, during that time. We see here from Finland Law, breaking defendants' request for documents reflecting the SEC trading plea pre-clearance decisions with re respect to SEC employees transactions in Bitcoin, Ether, or XRP and annual certifications concerning SEC employees XRP holdings is denied. Wow, so why? So we can't see what they have done. Imagine they sold or shorted XRP, right, at, I don't know, 70, 80 cents and then made a lot of money when XRP was falling from 70 cents to 17 cents, right? And then... They bought Bitcoin and Ethereum because those two coins skyrocketed after they made, who knows, probably millions and millions and millions of dollars from XRP converted to Bitcoin or Ethereum, made a lot, perhaps even billions, guys. So if you go down here, they're afraid of David Schwartz. The man can find their wallet addresses in an instant. Come on, guys. They will get exposed sometime. It's only a matter of time. Not if, but when. Remember that. Crypto will suit out China's inaction on preventing the Evergrande scandal from becoming a worldwide systemic crisis should speak volumes. Their main goal is to destabilize the global economy to put themselves ahead, just like they did with that. Nobody should ever trust them. Now, guys, remember, what's happening? 
what's happening bef uh, between China and basically the world or the U.S. should we say? Brian Armstrong is tweet out. The U.S. is losing the global race to decide the future of money. Interesting. He com he comes out and states this right. The future of money. The race. What have we been stating? The race between China and America, the United States. China has their digital yuan already implemented. Basically, right? They're they're already rolling out the digital currencies over there, right? Over in America, they're suing XRP. But how does that make sense? Remember, um, the U.S. doesn't want to lose uh, the race with China, so the U.S. will play their card at any moment in time and pull out the XRP, right? The golden or the joker card. It's hilarious. It's actually hilarious. They know what they're doing. Remember, this 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 everything we're watching right now is basically a whole puppet show. Right? Zero Hedge Suit out. Coinbase CEO says SEC wasn't creating level playing field. Wow. Whoa, 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 whoa. Creating level playing field. Where else have we been hearing that from? Judy Shelton, right? A few other people. Remember, XRP will create this level playing field. Wow. Guys, it's actually insane how this is all coming together as one huge big picture. Wall Street Pro suit out warning Evergrande is collapsing. If Tether does not disclose this week the full makeup of its holdings, then rational investors will assume that they hold commercial paper or other debt or securities issued by Evergrande. Again, guys, basically the c connection between Tether and, and uh, Evergrande. Remember, if Tether goes down, or Evergrande is connected to Tether and Tether collapses, you guys know what happens with the whole crypto sphere. Now, coining a suit out, listen to this, guys. Very interesting. Coinbase, it looks like Ripple is going to uh, fight this one. I mean, I mean let's, let's be real clear here. What, what, what's at stake? Uh, the SEC is suing Ripple, saying it's XRP. Um, cryptocurrency is actually a security that Ripple, which does it does a lot of, it, which has its own platform, its own sort of, uh, I guess, um, what is the platform for it? It's, it, it basically um, helps transact cross-border transactions. Uh, it's basically saying this is a security. It needed to be disclosed uh, to the SEC and needed to file disclosures. It didn't. Ripple is fighting back. And I'll tell you, Jackie, you know, Coinbase caved on, on, its, on its thing with the SEC. It didn't want to go there. At least what I'm getting out of Ripple is that they're going to fight it. And if based on some of the securities lawyers I've spoken to, uh, this could basically create the groundwork or the framework on how much authority the SEC has in this area. If it can't force Ripple to basically disclose if it's if it's cryptocurrency is, is going to be dis, dis declared as as a currency and not a security, something like Ethereum and Bitcoin. Well, guess what? Uh, you know, the SEC's wings have been clipped. And so it looks like this thing is going to court. We're going to have to follow this, uh, by the way. Play, uh, I've seen so many so many Wall Street firms saying they're going to fight to the end and then they settle. <laughs> so mm. this is always a, uh, a thing you have to watch real real closely and minute by minute. But you know, from what I understand, what I understand, they are going to fight. They're going to fight hard. And if they do establish court precedent, and this is always the risk with the SEC, whether it's the Justice Department, I've seen it in insider trading cases. If you lose a case, if a judge says you push too far, it clips your wings. Interesting, guys. Ripple is going to fight this case. Remember, Ripple wants. Or, you know, obviously is going to win this case. No doubt about that. XRP334, so you know, central bank digital currencies are about to go live on RippleNet. Make your own decision. Again, guys, what have we been stating about Saudi Arabia Central Bank signs blockchain deal with Ripple? Guys, remember, the central bank digital currencies, XRP, backed by the world, not only U.S., but the world, guys. Peter Schiff is out. There are now over 12,000 crypto tokens, 84 of which currently have market caps above a billion. There is nothing special about Bitcoin. The supply of altcoins will keep growing until the bubble, crypto bubble pops. Supply will overwhelm demand and prices will employ almost overnight. Again, guys, you guys already know 99% of those coins has to go away. Extra Pro is out. Swift with 10,000 plus banks to plug in with RippleNet. Well, that would be every XRP holder's dream too. Look at this, guys. My dream scenario is Swift makes a deal with Ripple where all their banks get to use RippleNet for free. Maybe even paying Swift fits our XRP strategy perfectly. Remember, Swift either has to use XRP or it vanishes away. Come on, guys. The proof is in the pudding. We were right all this time. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys are pleased with the like, subscribe, and subscribe to be on my channel. See you guys. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Anyway, guys. See ya.